Today we're going to be looking at GPU pricing and availability trends according to the tech spot graphs. We're going to analyze them and it's not only the new RTX 3000 GPUs, we're going to talk about the previous generation ones as well that you may actually own. So let's get started. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're a creative person, somebody who's curious, a lifelong learner, Skillshare is a great way in one place to get different classes in order to just grow as a person, as a creative. If you guys watch me here on YouTube, I do all sorts of tutorials, builds, and likewise on Skillshare. Definitely a great place where I've learned how to hone my skills from product photography. Every time I put up a really cool looking computer to product videos, there's a lot of great creators on Skillshare. For example, I've taken the class by YC Imaging and they give you a lot of great filmmaking principles, things that I've applied to this very YouTube channel and Skillshare is a fantastic way to go about doing this. You'll get unlimited access to thousands of classes and you get great feedback from the community and even better news, it's actually really affordable. Your first 1,000 people to go to my link below will get a free trial of their premium membership. That way you can explore. They have so many different categories. And let me know what you guys think down below. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. All right, so today let's talk about these graphs. TechSpot, they always update sort of the GPU pricing and availability trends every single month. So that way you can see how high were GPU prices last month compared to this month. There certainly always is a different type of a change that happens because of crypto mining or even manufacturing and things like that or a new release. And it seems like on the most part, GPU prices certainly are trending up again, but we'll see if this trend will play out into October. So we're going to take a look at the RTX 3000, the new GPUs that everybody wants. Of course, the AMD the uh, 6000 series as well which people have also have been pretty popular they've been great for gaming and then we'll look at some older gpus like the 20 series and even the 10 series gpus to see exactly how they're doing in sort of the used market so First, let's start with the big boy, the RTX 3000 series. These are the ones that everybody wants. They've been perpetually out of stock as well as very, very expensive. So these graphs are from TechSpot and we'll start to take a look at sort of the pricing here. They have July, August and September. Keep in mind that May was really the peak of GPU pricing. That's where things really got very, very insane. That's also when the price of Ethereum was at its peak, was at its highest. And that sort of correlates very, very closely with these GPU prices. When Ethereum went down sort of a little bit after May and June and July, GPU prices also came down a little bit even though it's still far from normal. So let's start at the very top. The RTX 3090, we do see it in stock a little more often than some of the other GPUs. So it seems like that the price has increased around 10%. Um, if you compare it to August to last month, pricing certainly has gone up a considerable amount. Remember, the MSRP is supposed to be $1,499 for a Founders Edition 3090, and here we see it at almost $3,000, so that's around a 91% price inflation, as they put it here. So RTX 3090 going up in price again. I think partly that's because people haven't been able to get the other cheaper GPUs, and the 3090, remember, has been unaffected by light hash rate, LHR, so so certainly it seems like they've been a little bit more in demand, at least if other things are expensive, people rather get the absolute best. Now, as we go to the 3080 Ti, I think a lot of gamers are most likely buying this GPU as well. Here we see that it went up around 4% over its August price. Not nearly really that big of a difference uh, compared to the 3090 and some of the other GPUs, but certainly it did go up. Now, since it is LHR, a lot of miners are not gonna be very interested in the 3080 Ti, but gamers absolutely love it for its lower entry price point compared to the 3090, and it has pretty much very similar gaming performance. Going down the list, the RTX 3080 seems to be about 2% more expensive. Now, this may be a little bit skewed just because the RTX 3080 certainly is very rare to find out in the wild. So I'm sure there's probably gonna be maybe less samples of this available compared to maybe the 3090 or 3080 Ti, which oddly enough, we've seen a lot more of. I'm sure that they've made a lot of 3080s. We just really haven't seen it because people really buy them up very, very quickly. So you can see the 3080 pricing hasn't 
on up too much and it's actually very close to the 3080 ti pricing so i think that most gamers will go to the 3080 ti if the price is within 200 dollars or so that's at least sort of the information that i'm reading from this because unless you get a non lhr gpu and you want to use it for mining for gaming the 3080 ti certainly is going to be the superior choice now 3070 Ti, same story, went up about 2%. The interesting thing here is if you compare it to the 3070, which actually went down in price slightly, around 4%, very, very interesting, but it was priced pretty high in August at over $1,200. Now it's right under $1,200. This probably shows you that people aren't buying it nearly as much as they were before. The 3070 has been one of the most popular GPUs, not only for gamers, but also for miners. Definitely been the one that people have been buying the most because simply it's a great value performance proposition, at, especially at its original MSRP. Of course, at these inflated prices at two to three times the price, Definitely not a very attractive GPU at all. That's why I think it's going down a little bit um, in price. Probably the same will hold true for the 3060 Ti and the 3060. Also, we had heard about some possible manufacturing shortages in September for the 3060 and 3060 Ti. So who knows if that may be a little bit more related. But these GPUs definitely sell in much greater volume than something like a 3090 or a 3080 Ti. Their lower barrier to entry in terms of their price point just is such a huge difference versus a 3090. Um, remember, if you're going to be paying, you know, over $2,000 for especially a secondhand 3090, you're going to be a lot cheaper, probably one third the price for a 3060 or a 3060 Ti. So that really shows you that that lower price point, even if it is inflated, these GPUs still fly off the shelves. The, the miners have found workarounds with a lot of these LHR GPUs, especially with the 3060. They use a beta driver, so those haven't been nearly as affected by LHR because they present pretty acceptable price to performance ratio. Even if they are inflated, I mean, it's the cheapest high-performing RTX 3000 series GPU you're going to be able to get. So what about the new AMD Radeon, the RX 6000 GPUs? Well, looking here, it seems like the only one that actually went down in price is the 6900 XT. I actually did a video recently seeing why there are so many 6900 XT GPUs on the shelf. That's just because I think they're just too expensive. Most people still rather get a 3080 Ti, a 3080, or a 3090 at a similar price point. NVIDIA just has a little bit better brand recognition, even though I will say the 6900 XT performs great as a gaming GPU, and certainly in traditional rasterization has caught up very nicely with the NVIDIA counterparts. Now, it seems like all of the other GPUs went up in price in terms of the AMD GPUs. And of course, the 6700 XT also seems like it went up in price around 11% and this GPU actually has been one that you can more easily find in stock anywhere that you look along with the 6600 XT which really hasn't been such a great value since it's more of like a 1080p GPU. So how about the older GPUs? What if you have an RTX 2080 Ti or a 2060 and 2070? Well, a lot of these have also gone back up in September, will be related to the higher crypto mining prices, of course. So they certainly have gone up. We see the 30, we can see here the 2080 Ti went up as much as 11%. A lot of the other GPUs around five to 8%, but they all went up. And this is just people that have not been able to get their hands on an RTX 3000 or one of the AMD GPUs really coming to buy one of these older GPUs either on the secondhand market or perhaps they're holding the GPU that they already purchased a year or two ago before these other GPUs came out and they may also be getting priced out of a new RTX 3000 series GPU. It's a lot easier to buy a 2080 Ti maybe for a thousand or eleven hundred dollars even though that's very very high for a used GPU rather than it is maybe spending over two thousand for a 3080 or 3090. Of course you're not getting anywhere near the performance of a newer RTX 3000 GPU, but at least it's better than some of the lower level GPUs. Now, the same can be said for sort of the more entry level, like 1660 Ti, the 1650. All of these have gone up between 6 to 15%, which is actually a pretty big price increase if you consider that they're not really anymore the best gaming GPUs and their mining performance really isn't that interesting anyway. This just shows you that people are just getting whatever 
whatever they can get in the market, even if it is much older entry level GPUs. Now, if you go back even further, one of my favorite GPUs is the 1080 Ti, and that continues to go up in price. It's around 10% more in September than it was in August in the previous month. So the other 10 series GPU, everything also went up in price between 3 to 11%. Seems like the 1070 Ti actually went up the most, around 11% since last month. Very, very interesting to sort of see this happening. Now, the 1080 Ti still performs great for gaming and for mining. And if you can actually get it for a reasonable price, it's really not a bad option compared to whatever else is out on the market. It's actually going to be a lot cheaper than many of the entry-level GPUs of the RTX 3000 series. And you may be able to more easily get one on the second-hand market. All right, guys, so all this information from TechSpot that kind of shows you sort of the GPU pricing and availability during September compared to the previous two months. Remember, we did have that big peak in May. Then it kind of came down and went back up. And now we're sort of in a no man's land. Who knows what October is going to be like? Crypto certainly has been down during the last week or so with a lot of new news and things like that happening. So we'll have to keep our eyes on the GPU pricing for October. But it looks like September, it's gone back up again. So now we're entering the end of the year and prices still are very far from normal. And they seem to be trending back up as we go into the holiday season and these manufacturers sort of stockpile a different inventory to be able to meet up with demand as it's closer to the holiday, we may actually see October not, and, and November, for that matter, not be so great for stock and availability, meaning prices may go up even more. Perhaps only during the new year will prices maybe come down a little bit, but that's wishful thinking at this point because who knows what's going to happen. Everything certainly is very unpredictable, but the only thing that we can tell from these graphs, prices certainly are are high and they are going up at least compared to this previous month. All right guys, so remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.